Hi everybody, let's talk about session one. In session one we do some raw coding um, related to HTML. Raw coding in HTML, the, the language of web browsers and web pages. And um, so what you want to do is make sure you've completed session zero orientation. We have some latecomers to the class. I mean that in the most loving of ways. I don't blame you for it. We have some folks who came in about six or seven days into the semester. So you guys need to make sure that you do the session zero orientation stuff before you get going on the plain text HTML editing session. All right. So um, the way you get to that, if you uh, is you know you click session zero orientation and go through this stuff. All right. So session one plain text HTML editing. This is about you guys having the opportunity to do a little bit of raw coding. Um, that is typing in your text editors on the PC platform. That's most likely going to be Notepad, which looks kind of like this. This is where I've been. Uh, I love. I use Notepad every day for just note taking and for clean for scrubbing text clean. But you can use Notepad to actually type in type up raw HTML such that your web web page can. Read your web browser, excuse me, I'm using the wrong words, can, re can read it. And so you just start by typing tags. Um, many tags are, uh, have, most tags have an opening tag and a closing tag. The closing tag usually has this forward slash. And then you put stuff in the middle between those tags most of the time, a lot of the time. You'll see. Um, so you're going to use your text editor to do some actual sort of typing and to type very tediously and slowly um, so that you can learn what it is and how it is that the uh, web browser can actually read this and turn it into a web page. So that web browser chomps up these tags and it knows what to do um, with the contents that come between those tags when it sees them. Um, I'll show you really quickly on um, a cool tool that I promote in this session and, and Dr. Bradford also promotes this tool. It's w3schools.com and I'm currently looking, I'm in the HTML tutorial which is a great resource. Over here on the left you have lots of topics kind of from easy to harder. Um, for example on the HTML home tutorial, you can just start reading, read, 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 read. And then when you're done reading and trying things out, you can um, go to the next chapter. So kind of take your time because I just saw something I hadn't seen the first time I went through. This, the HTML tag reference. That will be very useful. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting bogged down, but I want to show you the Try It editor. I'll go ahead and get rid of this because we're not. This. All right, so what, what we have online now are these great tools such as this one with W3Schools that allow you to see raw code in one panel and then you can kind of render it and see what it would look like on a web page in the other panel. So, um, for example, I'm going to change that heading to why pigs fly in the morning. And then I'm going to change this paragraph here. Pigs have been known So as you can see, I'm typing, I just typed um, a new heading, see that H1 tag, and I'm not teaching you right now, I'm really just kind of quickly showing you um, so that when you get to the materials in this in the module, you're going to maybe start to click with what we're doing. Um, so when the web browser sees this, it knows this Why Pigs Fly in the Morning is a heading at the level one. Um, when it gets to this, it knows that with this P tag, that this is paragraph text. It sees I've got an opening p tag, paragraph text, a paragraph tag, and a closing paragraph tag. And I can render this, I can see the result, and that's what it would look like on a web page. So HTML coding um, gets at the content of the page. The basically the text and images and tables and things like that. 
HTML coding is not really going to make us, it's not going to really help us to make the pages pretty, to have nice style or design. That's what um, CSS is for. And um, we can use our WYSIWYG tools, our What You See Is What You Get tools like Dreamweaver that have CSS capabilities in them to help us with that. We're not going to have time to go all the way, you know, we're not going to have time to totally delve into all the nitty gritty technical aspects of web design in this class. But anyway, I just want to show you that there's a lot of cool tools out there, so you should be playing with these. Um, read through the materials in the, in the module, for example, on A2 page 1. Read through the materials, like the topic overview page, which will it's got it's got a lot of words but it's good stuff and then it's got visuals that show you how to do stuff it's got sample code that you can look at um, it's got videos in it so read through that but also be playing with these other really great resources that are on the web now um, that again were not on the web 10 years ago when one wanted to learn HTML coding <clears throat> well they weren't that common alright so let me go back and quickly go through the module then what we want to do you want to Use the checklist if you find it useful. You can check items off as you complete them. Um, and you want to right click to go through the module, of course. You can check out the course plan for big picture view, what's due when during the semester. So if you quickly look at that, you can tell that we are in session one and that by Sunday, January 25th, we've got two items that are due. These two items, there's they're due to individual drop boxes, so that's two separate drop boxes. And then we have this third A2 assignment that is extra credit, it's optional, and that's also due Sunday, January 25th. Okay, let me move on. On this page, we have a summary of all of the A2 assignments. The first one is where you're going to write a biography and you're going to code it using raw HTML and use a few basic additional tags beyond the HTML tag, the head tag, and the body and paragraph tag. So those are some those things I just said which may not make any sense to you right now. Those are basic. You'll learn how to do that and then this assignment calls for you to add a few extra tags such as the strong tag and the emphasis tag. Um, so that's assignment one and you'll submit that to Dropbox. Assignment two or page two is to create a web page using only a text editor. Same same thing. Same thing as one. Uh, that's also used on using only a text editor, and demonstrate the creation of lists, links, tables, and images. So it gets a little more complicated here. Certainly, when you incorporate images, um, it gets a little bit it's sort of ramping up. And then the third one adds to all of this the insertion of horizontal rules, the creation and using of tables and images, controlling attributes and paragraphs and tables, and creating and using named anchors. So if you know if you're really into this, I urge you to do the third, the third page. Um, a quick recommended pacing, I recommend that you try to get the first page done during the first week and the second page done during the second week. Okay? Just don't put it off till like the last Sunday of the module is what I'm trying to say. Okay? Um, and the way I've got this broken down is I kind of introduce the specific, like here we're talking about A2, page 1. So I introduce that topic in this introduction. And then I turn things over to Dr. Bradford who wrote most of what you see in here. Read this, absorb it, take your time, enjoy it. It's really good. Um, there's also some textbook chapters that you, would, you need to read. Um, here are some suggested resources. Um, that can help you with what you learn about in this overview and help you play and explore. This is the instructions for the assignment. So again, this is the uh, overview, kind of a teaching uh, page. And this is the instructions page. Here's a link to the Dropbox where you want to submit it. And here's a discussion board where you guys can post your questions. I'll be gone the first few days of this module to a on a school field trip. I'll be back on Wednesday. So please do help each other out um, and don't panic you've got to play with this stuff a little bit it's a little odd um, but I know some of you are real techies and you'll, you'll enjoy it page two similar format uh, same thing I kinda summarize what you're doing up here then I turn you over to this topic overview check this out another great read with good visuals good practice videos etc 
and then a couple chapter readings from the textbook. Um, I think I think in here that it says you need to you actually need to read all of these, but I'm here to tell you how to prioritize your reading, and I and I I don't think you need to take. I mean, if you have the time and you have the brain power to read that much in one week, um, feel free to do it. That's why I put skim read on now. But for my purposes, these are the two chapters that matter the most from the readings. So if you see in here where Dr. Bradford may have said to read all of these things, just go with what I've got. Um, <clears throat> All right, I've got the instructions for this project, I've got the Dropbox link, I've got um, the help board again for the A2 project. Any questions about any of the A2 pages, put them up there. And this is a discussion board to maybe get the conversation started about uh, the type of web page you want to make in the future in this class. So um, maybe in, during the second week you'll be ready to start thinking about that and talking about that. And then the A3, Oh, sorry, A2, page 3 uh, materials are here, and I'm not going to bog down this video with those. You can uh, check those out. It's the same format. Um, so this is session 1. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, let me know if you need any help or if you need a live session maybe next weekend. Um, we can go over some things that may be bugging you or maybe problematic. And uh, just have fun with it. All right. Thanks so much.